Hello, I'm Flagging Grandpa. How are y'all? I'm gonna build some cabinets and a closet to save time. I got some of these things that I'm gonna use laid out here. I got my foundations laid out. I got my handy dandy flamer trap set out. I got my uh, rug or mat set out. I got a stash box with some uh, things drop merged down into it. I've got three shelves here drop merged together with some things drop merged down into them. I've got stash boxes, four stash boxes here drop merged together. I got another stack of the same four stash boxes drop merged together. I've got a shelf with some things drop merged on it that I'm going to use. I'm also going to use my handy dandy blueprint of the place anywhere door wall. We'll start with this one uh, the, with this one and we have a foundation put here to start with kind of have to do this first uh, because uh, you're going to be using the door way and you can't move that once you get it in place so we're going to use the rug here because the blueprint won't place on a foundation. The blueprint I'm going to use won't place on a foundation unless there's a rug there because it has a door in it. I'm assuming that's the reason. Um, put the door, the door here and just place it on top of that rug. And let's make sure the door is opening in the, well, let's replace the door to, with the saloon door. Okay, let's be sure that the doors open the correct way. We want them to open toward us here. So that's correct. Now we delete the catwalk. We change the doorway wall. Replace using the replace option. We uh, replace it with a solid wall. And we delete the solid wall. Leaving the door standing there. And we delete the pipe and we remove the rug that leaves the door standing by itself on top of the foundation we'll take this stash box we'll take the stash box and we'll kind of line it up with the door that we have placed there. Now the reason I said you had to do this first is so you can lower the foundation. You want to have it a little high so you can lower the foundation down to where the stash box will fit onto it correctly. We got a lower down here. Let's see if we can get the sash box to come on to it. All right, let's see how that looks. Looks good on that side. Looks good on that side. And when we open it up, 
it opens up and shows the inside of the cabinet with stuff merged into it. Okay, now we're going to build the closet. I moved the stash box back over here out of the way so that I could work with the foundations. I put another foundation beside it, uh, connected to it to sort of keep to kind of keep it level. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put down a doorway with the back of the doorway facing me. Okay. Then I'm going to use the quarter catwalk. Put the quarter catwalk in this doorway. And I'm going to put another foundation behind the catwalk, connected to the catwalk. Then I'll get rid of the catwalk. Okay. And that is because I'm going to use this that I made and it's the uh, the depth of that is just as big as the quarter catwalk we we'll put this in this place we we'll put some four walls on the back we'll go ahead and put a door in and we'll make sure the door opens toward the inside the room and it does so now we'll go pick up our shelves that we made here and we'll put them inside the doorway right here and that way it's a closet it looks like a closet with shelves when we close the doorway when we close the door and we have the closet closed in the door and there we have it in the doorway like it should be Now we're going to change these walls using the replace option. We're going to change these walls. But what we want to do is we want to put a wall here. But it won't let us put a wall here because we have this wall in the middle. And even if we burn this wall in the middle or destroy this wall in the middle, it still leaves the frame which will interfere with placing a wall. So we're going to change this using the replace option. We're going to change it to the mine shaft walls, crisscross walls, what I call them. <laughs> so, uh, and then we can take our handy flamethrower trap and destroy these walls there's one there's two now with those walls destroyed there it doesn't leave anything in the way so we can put our walls in there on each side repair these walls and we'll use the replace option to turn the walls back into the walls that we want repair we got everything repaired and you can see how the wall fits there to make it look like a closet 
we'll put this back in place. So we have our cabinet in place. Now let's bring this, put it on the front here. And move this one over and put it here. Let's put a wall here and a wall here. Let's use our replace option and turn these walls into the abandoned mine crisscross walls. And then we're going to destroy the one of those with the flamethrower. Now uh, I'm doing this so that it gives us so that we can put the other cabinet up on this side without running into any trouble placing it in because we're going to have to have the wall and the foundation and the rug and the blueprint and all of that in place. Now we put the shelf that we're going to use and we use we destroy that. We will put then we'll put the stack of stash boxes that we want to use. on each side like that and we make sure they're lining up where we want them to line up and the way we want them to line up let's take this one back a little just a little bit further back Let's see if we can bring them in a little bit further too. Okay. Okay. That looks decent. And we'll take our handy dandy flamethrower trap and we'll destroy those. And we do that so that we can take it and put the rug here. Now on top of the rug, we will put our blueprint. We'll make sure it's lined up the way we want it lined up. And we'll put it down. Then we'll change the wall, the do not the wall, the door. We'll change the door using the replace option to the circus door, which I think is down here. Yep. With the red side facing us because it opens out to the red side. And we'll delete the catwalk change the doorway wall into a solid wall delete it and now we'll go ahead and go to our camp module and repair everything we just hit repair and that repairs everything so we go back and we open this door and it looks like it's a closet or a cabinet when you open the door we'll go ahead and get rid of the 
rug and we'll replace using the replace option we'll put the walls in that we wanted in back behind this like that and for good measure let's go ahead and put some wallpaper on these walls just so it gives a better uh, so you can see better the cabinets stand out a little bit more okay so uh, you look at the closet you got the doorway here with the closet you can open and close it looks like something in the closet you got this here you can open and close that cabinet look like you got something in the cabinet you got this cabinet over here you can open and close this cabinet and look like you got something in this cabinet and that's how we that's how I make the cabinets in the closets y'all be good and be safe.